Welcome back on this Tuesday morning. We have a guest with us this morning. His name is Toby Click, and you are the curator uh, for the planetarium at the Megan Museum of Arts and Sciences. And I'm really yeah. excited to have you here because there's Hi. a really neat astrological phenomenon. Uh, astronomical. <laughs> astronomical? Okay, yeah. there we go. <laughs> I was corrected. Um, yes, yeah, so we're having a, uh, a total lunar eclipse uh, happening tonight. It's the last one uh, that will be visible until the year uh, 2010. And what happens during a lunar eclipse is that the, uh, the moon uh, kind of moves behind the Earth. Uh, so you've got the sun out here. So it's an eclipse of the moon. Eclipse of the moon. So that's lunar right. means moon. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, what, what happens is uh, every, every once in a while the uh, moon will pass into the shadow that's cast by the Earth from the sun. And so we're going to watch that happen tomorrow night. That's very exciting. Now, I read that it can only be a full moon. You can see the moon now is just about full. Now, right. why don't we have eclipse every time we have a full moon? Well, this model doesn't really show that uh, everything's kind of lopsided. So only about one out of every six uh, passes in, uh, of the full moon results in a, uh, a lunar eclipse. So then how often do we get a a lunar eclipse. On average, about twice a year. Uh, it's not always a total lunar eclipse like the one we'll have tomorrow night. And can you explain the difference between the total eclipse and the partial eclipse? Well, a partial eclipse, only some of it gets covered up uh, by the shadow. Uh, but w when we have a total lunar eclipse, uh, that means it goes completely into Earth's shadow. It'll become kind of weird colored, look kind of reddish. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get to see that uh, tomorrow night from 8.45 to 11.45. Okay, so the partial eclipse, the work that will partially enter the shadow begins at 8.43, right? And then the total eclipse begins at 10.01. Right. So when we're expected to have clear skies, so it looks like we can good. get a we'll pretty good sight of it. And we do have some video yeah, of a <laughs> lunar eclipse, if we can throw that up there. There we go. You can see it's entering the shadow, and there it's gone taking on kind of the reddish, you can see the reddish, reddish tint there, kind of dusky looking, and then reemerging. comes right back out, comes right we back always out. know and love. <laughs> <laughs> now, it doesn't happen quite that fast. Of course, that's sped up a little bit, but very neat. And the moon can actually take on a very bright red color. Is that true? Yes. Not so bright in this video, but... Well, I've, I've seen several eclipses like this, and uh, it, it's, it's kind of neat to, to watch. So uh, where, wherever you are, if you're in Macon, come to the museum. If you're somewhere else, uh, or you can't get to us, watch it from where you are. Okay, now what's the difference between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse? On a solar eclipse is a whole other phenomenon. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the moon goes in front of the Earth and it makes a shadow appear uh, on the ground. That's when you, you get the sky becoming dark during the day and uh, the, the big white thing showing around the sun and that sort of thing. Okay. We won't have one of those anytime soon. We won't have one of those. So as we're talking about the lunar eclipse now, with solar eclipses though, People are warned about don't look right at it. You'll damage your eyes. Right, right. Can you look straight at the lunar oh, eclipse? Oh, yes, yes. The lunar eclipse is totally harmless. You can look at it, no trouble whatsoever. So no telescope, no, uh, sun, oh, I guess, sunglasses needed, no eye protection needed. You, you can use a telescope, uh, but, yeah, you don't need protection. Uh, there's not going to be werewolves. <laughs> We're going to be fine. <laughs> Sounds good. And we also have a graphic that kind of breaks down the process of the lunar eclipse as it enters the Earth's shadow. Now, can you see? Can you explain that a little bit for the people? We talked a little okay, bit about uh, it. Okay, we'll start uh, from the right uh, as we're moving kind of downward towards the left. Uh, the eclipse begins, you, and you see these different stages. Uh, the um, 843 is when the partial starts to begin. Uh, it becomes total starting at 10:01, and will stay total for most of, of the 10 o'clock hour, and then it'll gradually kind of glide out of the shadow uh, from then on. All right, so very exciting. Pretty neat to see. I'm excited. It's a little late for me to be up, but I might, Not for try. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I might try to catch it. And if you want to catch it, too, head down to the Macon Museum of Arts and Sciences. This is tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. It's free. Bring free. the kids. Bring lawn chairs. Bring lawn chairs. We have a graphic for that. There we go. February 20th and 8.45 to 11.45. And right there at the Macon Museum of Arts and Sciences. And we'll get a pretty good sight of a pretty neat astronaut. Astronomical? Yes. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for being with us this Thanks morning, Toby. All right, we'll have another check of your news and weather after this.